Hello everyone and welcome back to How to Travel. The problems presented in COVID-19 certainly haven't gone away yet, and may not for some time even with the rollout vacation. But we think that the luxury sector will be the first to bounce back, and so here are a number of trends that we expect to dominate in the industry later. Safety concerns paramount. It goes without saying that the safety will be paramount in travelers' minds more than ever. People will want to visit countries where the virus is considered largely under control. This is further complicated by the fact that those countries will be wanting to preserve their status quo and will be warily opening up to tourists as in a controlled manner as they possibly can. But these specific safety concerns will not apply just to countries, but also regionally as well to establish specific establishments hotels, vacation rentals, restaurants, etc. Domestic Tourism In 2021, domestic tourism will likely continue to thrive. The rollout of the vaccine will be gradual and many people will simply not have the confidence to go too far afield, be unable to get to where they normally would travel or sooner to avoid quarantine. Delayed Trips Remember all those trips canceled in 2020? Without going into too much detail about the saga of refunds, there will be many people who simply deferred their stays until the following year. And those trips are still yet to happen, of course, if they're able to. Private Islands The ultimate remote retreat. Last summer, the Financial Times reported a surge of demand for private hideaways even as their global economy was sliding towards a deep recession. And whilst $80,000 a night for Waldorf Astoria's new Maldives private island, Itafushi might at first glance seem wateringly expensive, it's not actually unreasonable, since the resort can accommodate 24 guests, that works about as somewhat more attainable $3,333 per person a night. Combining Travel with Hobbies While some of us might have found new hobbies during the pandemic, others may have had to put their interests on hold. Here in the UK, cycling became incredibly popular to the point that cycling stockists couldn't get bikes in quickly enough. Golf courses have been closed for prolonged periods, as have gyms, leisure centuries, and swimming pools. Whether it's because they found a new hobby or haven't been able to partake in their favorite pastime for a prolonged period of time, travel often provides an opportunity for people to combine interests such as walking, running, cycling, sailing, swimming, and golf all of which not only allow social distancing, but are good for our health and well-being. Cookery Tours Lockdowns the world over have resulted in closed bars and restaurants and a renewed interest in cookery. Whether that be thinking more about the food comes from, home baking, or refining a sophisticated dinner menu, more time at home has enabled people to rekindle a love for the kitchen, and some will be looking to learn more and fine-tune their skills to the next level whilst at the same time combining their passion for food and travel. Road trips. Never has a sense of liberation has been more desirable. After a 2020 dominated by lockdowns and restrictions, the attraction of the open road will beckon for many. And with it, the freedom to explore a destination at your own pace, stopping to admire a stunning view, taking your time over delicious lunch or creating new adventures on a whim. Vacation rentals versus hotels. The vacation rental market will benefit greatly from the pandemic in the short term. Private houses where friends and family can get together in high demand, whilst hotels, particularly large hotels, may be seen as potentially higher risk of transmission. The Great Outdoors LLT has been well documented that you're more likely to contract coronavirus indoors rather than outdoors. For this reason, expect more people to seek vacations where they can enjoy the space of the outdoors. The rural settings and national parks are examples of likely beneficiaries of this trend. If international travel is possible, then the safari industry is another. Workations The coronavirus has demonstrated just how many of us are able to work from home in ways that weren't previously considered possible. The distinction between home and work life became increasingly blurred, and many people have embraced the opportunity to work wherever they choose. The workation trend is one that's been growing quite a bit and one we expect to continue. And that's it for today's list.